Welcome back. You're watching HFO TV. Welcome back to HFO TV. I'm Greg Frick, partner here at HFO Investment Real Estate. Uh, today we're going to take a couple minutes and talk to Jack Stevens, one of our brokers here at HFO, about uh, the outer southeast market of Portland in terms of multifamily. So Jack, thanks for taking the time to do this. I know Thank you're busy you. with everything that's going on in the market. Uh, when somebody says outer southeast or outer east side, what kind of gives the general audience the general parameters of what that means? I think it means a lot of different things to a lot of different people, whether the boundary is 82nd or I-205. Um, generally, I think of it as anything in southeast Portland with a one in front of the number, so pretty much 100 to 199th, which is pretty much where right. Gresham starts, 182nd, 202nd, that kind of area. Um, somewhat encompasses Gresham, but really a different market. And yeah. you know, even as more things grow out in that area, that market's been broken up into a lot of different subsections too. But generally, you're going to be 100th to 200th about in Got southeast. It. And what, uh, real quick, uh, vacancy trends? What are you seeing? You know, compared to last year? Definitely up, definitely taking a little bit longer. Um, you know, a market where you used to have a four month long wait list, it's come down to, you might even have a couple of showings before someone shows interest. Um, you know, not similar to the new construction necessarily, but the same kind of thing where if they come to you looking for a vacant unit, they may have other options. Got it. it may not yeah. just be, this is the only option, please let me in. It's, yeah, I'm checking out the place down the street and this other place as well. Um, what can you offer me? Right. Um, so we're starting to see a higher vacancy rate for sure. Interesting. And what about rental rates? I'm sure that's trending the same. You know, maybe we're not looking at uh, declining rental rates, but maybe not the amount of growth. We, you know, we saw over 10% last year. And yeah, I mean, I think stagnant at the top. Right. Um, you'll probably see an average increase in the rates. You're going to see a lot of the lower rents come up, but you're not going to see the top end rents go up further from there. Right. So the average will go up, but it's not it's actually say going it's up. It's like it bifurcated in terms of it's coming from the bottom, not from the top. Right. And push the average. What in, in terms of all the owners you talk to and investors? I mean, what is their, um, you know, what, what do they ask you the most about lately? Rent control, no cause evictions. Not even so much rent control, probably more no cause evictions. Um, out in that area, you have a lot of difficulty with that. Um, you know, proving the cause for an eviction can be really difficult. Owners don't like going to court naturally. No one really likes going to court. And so I think the difficulty with, you know, really what it is is protecting your other tenants. Effectively manage your building for the benefit of the whole where you may have, you know, exactly. You know, if you have a neighbor who's having too many guests over, is too loud, whatever it may be, isn't a good tenant, then sometimes you have to get them out with cause evictions. So that's one of their biggest concerns. You hearing any other big concerns? I mean, is there, uh, you had too much talk, we've seen a little bump in interest rates, um, anything like that? No, I don't think the interest rate um, has been too big of a concern. It's mostly the legislative environment, which I think has been kind of a cover for the other issues that are going on. Right. Um, you know, the lack of affordable housing issues, the interest rate rise, those things are getting pushed aside because people are focused solely on no cause evictions and rent control. And in terms of demand uh, from the investor side, not the uh, tenant side, and the investor, are you seeing any change in investor demand over that you've seen in the last six months, eight months, or is it pretty much steady as steady as she goes we've seen in the last two years? Um, I mean, it's fairly steady. I think a lot of the investors are pretty much at the same point they've been all along, where a lot of the sellers may have a bit higher expectations than they've had in the past, which has cooled things down a little bit. Um, I think the demand is still there. I don't think interest rates have cooled down that demand, but it's more, the deal still has to work at the end of the day, and a lot of expectations are getting a little above and beyond what's actually going to be able Got to happen. It. Well, it's usually what happens. You get the last kind of, the last group kind of in has this inflated expectation, right. and so yeah. it's this adjustment period that I think we'll see in the next quarter. Right, it. and with all the legislation, there could be kind of a fear period that happens. Yes, forward yeah, definitely. What may or may not happen. So, and what from your perspective, what else should owners out there be thinking about? Right now, I would focus on taking advantage of. The housing demand is still there. There aren't high vacancy rates. Taking advantage of that, doing the improvements you can while you have the extra capital, hopefully. Um, you know, if that means you have to forego profits a little bit, it's the smart time to do it. Um, get your building where you want it to be so that you can run smoothly for the next couple of years. You're the desirable property versus the other ones for the next couple of years. Upgrade your tenant base. Um, upgrade the tenant base and get really get the rents to where you want them to be for the right. next few years because, I mean, I think everyone knows we're not going to see the 10% year-over-year rent growth right. we've been seeing the last while. Well, thanks again, Jack, for coming and talk to us about uh, you. your experience out in the outer southeast, and we'll see you next time on HFO TV. See you then. All right. Our entire office specializes in multifamily real estate, making HFO the largest multifamily brokerage in the Pacific Northwest. Your success is our passion.
Build your legacy with HFO. Call 503-241-5541 or visit our website at hfore.com for more information.